Hi everyone, Gridlock Cosplay here. This is the aftermath of my most recent work, and if you've been following me on Instagram, you've already had a sneak peek of what I'm about to show you. The entire front side of the hull template has been removed and transferred onto foam. I have done both sides at the same time and it is fitting most spectacularly. A whole lot of fasteners are on here because it has to attach to this. Now this is the beginning of the midsection hull here. And the reason why it needs so many is because both pe these pieces have to cinch together to look like they are glued, so that they look like they are one piece. Just like that. So that is just from the hook and loop fasteners holding it together. It uh, is fairly sturdy, and I'm happy with how that has worked out. I'm not quite ready to glue it on, but I've just taped it on so you can get the general idea of what the whole thing is starting to look like. You may have noticed this contraption right here. This, of course, is a giant hinge. I have modeled and 3D printed these parts myself. This is a half inch piece of PVC pipe, and it is a fully functional hinge, as well as aesthetic. You are gonna be seeing some of this, like this main body right here. That is part of the design for the mech, but the rest of this will be covered up by part of the top. My plan in how to make this move is by putting an actuator uh, probably between these two points here that will just push it open. I am going to continue to work on all the rest of this, converting the template into foam. I still have a little bit of templating to do in the back. The front has a lot of good angles on it, but because uh, of the shape that I had to put the uh, my reference photos onto, it doesn't quite work exactly. I do have to invent uh, a certain amount of the back here. So I'm going to be adding some more details in here to make it look a whole lot more machine-like. On my previous video, you may have seen on my templates that I had a whole bunch of numbers marked. And that was for the bevels needed on each piece in order to get the exact angles that you see here. And uh, of course, I had to be consistent between both sides. I wanted to be exact. So I measured those angles and in order to cut the bevels, I made my own tools. I 3D printed these, modeled them, and printed them myself. And they're just rulers that have these beveled edges on them. And I use them, uh, put them down, and they guide my knife in order to cut the exact bevel. And with the cut different values that are on here, I can get any angle between 10 degrees and 80 degrees in increments of five. They're very useful. I'll talk about those in another video, not this time. But anyway, they did work very well and uh, this is the result. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more videos so you don't miss the next things that are coming up. And I'll see you guys later.